Maybe this is dumb of me, but like I didn't know that people knew about Poltu. It's like a bonkers cool city where everything apparently is, you know, what inspired Harry Potter. Like what? Who knew that stuff? Was I the only one that didn't know that? I knew they had wine. All right, so in Palto, Portugal, there's three main things you gotta do. One, drink the wine. Two, eat the Francesinha sandwich. And three, take a bunch of selfies in front of blue tile walls. Did I miss anything? No. Okay, let's go. Rewind us just a little bit. Last night in Qatar. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. I never know if you speak English or Portuguese. I, mean, I am. Lorena and I have been staying in a camper van that we rented on Airbnb and exploring the whole coast of Portugal. But we haven't yet made it all the way north to Portugal's second city. So when I booked the Airbnb here in Pelta, I made sure to find one that has parking, which is like an absolute must for coming into a European city with like a van with a surfboard in it. Amiga, how do, how do you like your palacio? First target is in sight. What's this igreja called? Igreja do Carmo. Carmo. Okay. Well, it looks like it's totally blue. Yeah. You ready for some selfie action? Yes. Okay, so it looks like the photographer goes over there. That's All right, um, just stepped into Porto. Um, almost got ran over by a car because I gotta go take some pictures from across the street. Thanks for filming. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's the tour bus. Hey, do you want these cars in it? Instagram versus reality, ready? Yes. You find your light yet? What do you think, anything good? Porto's like the second city of Portugal after Lisbon. I don't know if this is true or not, just looking around, but I have a hunch that Porto looks older because most of Lisbon burned down. So I think a lot of this stuff is actually like quite a lot older. I'm super hungry. Um, there's a tapas place over here near the train station, which also has blue tiles, fortunately. Even the train station is an Instagram attraction. I know. Like, you're not gonna have enough space on your Instagram to post all of these. This place is just like weirdly cool looking, right? Uh -huh. That is kind of nice for, you know, the tourist selfie squad though, is that Puerto is pretty small. So everything is like, a, you know, two blocks away from each other. Oh look, more diagonally. 
Okay, so tell me about this thing where there's like Harry Potter tours. Why does Palto have this like Harry Potter thing? So J.K. Rowling lived in, in Porto for three years or four years, I think in 91 until 94 or 93. And she started, I think she had the idea for the book here. She even wrote uh, the first book here. And she would always go to this uh, bookstore called Lelu. And that's basically why it's famous, because she got a lot of like inspiration from that place and many places around Porto. So here's the weird thing, like when you look around the city, it kind of looks like Diagon Alley. <laughs> Like, Alright, we'll meet you at the top of Hogsmeade. <laughs> hey, what house are you? Hogwarts, for sure. No, no, which one? What do you mean? Hogwarts. No, that's the whole school. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole school, honey. Uh, Gryffindor, sorry. <laughs> It kind of surprised me how many like Harry Potter fans there are in this city in terms of like numbers of tourists, right? You don't even know if they are. I'm quite sure that they are. <laughs> what kind of animal is that? Um, owl. <laughs> Harry Potter? Owl, owl rat, or frog. Okay, like I'm not even trying to make a joke. Literally the only time I've seen a line like this for a bookstore is when a Harry Potter book came out. I just bought tickets to a bookstore inside of a different bookstore with Harry Potter gifts in it. Um, anyways, there's a, basically a massive line of tourists outside this bookstore. Good timing? Yeah, actually, Voila. Uh, is it this year? Hmm? Hey, are you ready for like the magic to happen? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. What's the spell that makes people go away? I thought it was lines and tickets, but apparently not. No. Found it. Do oh, great read? Harry Potter. <laughs> Do you want to read some Harry Potter? Wow, this is some spooky spell book stuff going on here. Okay, so tell me again, what does this actual place have to do with Harry Potter again? The, the actual bookstore. Yeah. Um, J.K. Rowling lived in Porto, so and she would come here to buy books, I'm guessing. Her inspiration for Harry Potter, part of it comes from here. Hmm. Because it actually looks like it. It does. Check. Bonus round, Harry Potter bookstore. Diagon Alley. Check. Goodness. Okay, well, let's just skip to the second part <laughs> of the day. The most important part, perhaps. The wine part. The wine part. The port wine part. Thirsty? Yeah. How do you say that? Consage. Consage. I'm that. I am that. <laughs> All right, here's what you need to know about wine in Porto. The most famous wine is the port wine, also named after the city, Porto. And it's essentially a fortified wine that has a higher alcohol content and is sweeter than typical wine. What happens is that the wine is grown up the river in the Duro wine region, 
put on barges and brought down here to the cellars. So on the other side of the river from the city, that's where you want to go taste port wine is in the traditional cellars over there. Okay, so pro tip, we just learned literally because the tours are ending today. If you are not a tour person with the full like English guided thing in your ear, go through the you know video screens, somebody's singing Fado, Portuguese music in the thing. Fortunately, most of the caves have a bar literally next door. So skip the tour, don't pay for the stuff you don't want, and you get the same amount of wine, and you get to be outside, and it's gorgeous out. These are nice. I've never had a white salsa before. I'm gonna get so dry. <laughs> One down, and I am already loving this city. And that's all you get. All right, Tawny, which kind of sounds like a color of a cat, honestly. <laughs> I, I almost wish the stuff came in like a can. <laughs> like a, a, a cheese whiz can that I go, <laughs> Yeah, where are the straws at? Bendy straws. These are a little different than some of the other like port wines that you know I've seen like American winemakers make because this actually tastes like wine plus the sweetness plus the little bit more alcohol intensity. Stand up challenge. How's it going? Pretty good. I don't know if I can <laughs> speak English after this though. All right, so I don't know how many Palto places there are over here on this side of the river, but might as well just up the ante and go to the place with the sickest views, right? You know, this is the best thing about port wine though, is that it's like being wine drunk and margarita drunk at the same time. Verified, 20% alcohol. That means that's like, that's more than a margarita. We're having then, a great time in Porto, Portugal. And then you eat francesinha at five in the morning. Hey, okay, that's step three. Oh my God, how long till five in the morning? <laughs> you know that you're this awesome friend that I have and that I really appreciate that we're on this trip together. Thank you so much for being in Porto and everywhere else in Portugal with me. Um, this is one for the books. Okay, so y'all thought we were going to end the video with a bunch of uh, um, Porto at sunset. Nope, we forgot the third step. Francesinha. At three in the morning, which we're not quite three in the yeah. morning, but it feels like it. Okay, so the Francesinha is like uh, when you come to Balto, you have to like the like the thing that you have to do. You have to get Francesinha, which just looks like a monstrosity of like all the meats that you could possibly have inside some sort of a sandwich like, thing with. Meat, bread, eggs, and sauce. I don't know what this is, but it's really good. How is it really good? Yeah. It looks like a monster. It's not gonna look pretty.
Obrigado e boa noite. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Kata. Yeah, we're gonna miss Kata.